Alonso in the red corner. Daniel, half session Fry in the blue. Martin, the punisher, Pavey. And Fry came storming out, and Pavey met him in the middle of the ring. And both men going for broke here, throwing with their feet planted. But it's Pavey that you feel is just getting the better of this. But look at these two men now. Non-stop planting their feet, throwing shots. Neither men worried about defence, just hitting their opponent. And away they go again. What a start to this round. And now Pavey responds to the attack from Fry. Toe to toe. And it's Fry that just has to seed ground here. As Pavey continues to push forward, can be warned for the back fist there. From Peter Markland, and away they go once more. And left and right coming in consistently from both men. Neither worried about defence at all. Just seek and destroy missiles, these two men. So Fry pushing forward once more, Pavey keeping the centre of the ring. And as I said, they've both taken good shots, showing solid chins here, because they've both been hit, and now it's Pavey's turn to take a backward step as Fry gets through clean. Oh, and then a big right response and another one from Pavey. And Fry is on the back foot once more. What an opening round from these two men. 10 seconds left and it's been non-stop action and they're still at it now and both have got through clean both have had their chins tested and both have been solid as rocks so round two and can they keep this pace up well they're certainly going to try because they're straight back at it again and as I said no defence they're just shipping punches and neither wants to give an inch of ground either. Fry now the one pushing forward with left, rights and uppercuts. Pavey looking to match him. And a big right hand from Pavey. Suddenly backs Fry up and here he comes again in reply. Both men given and received heavy punishment and they're still there and still throwing punches at an incredible rate. And they look at each other as if to say, how are you still there? But they are, both of them. Both men 27 years of age. And they're just beginning to feel the pace now, but they're still trying to knock each other out cold. And the right hand of Pavey was the last one there. Fry took it well, but fatigue is playing a part on both of them here now. It's been an incredible pace. And here they go again. Fry drags something up now. And then Pavey responds. Full credit to both men here. And the right hand from Pavey as they both start throwing punches once more. And here we go again. Incredible stuff from these two men. They're ending the show here for season three of Bristol South and they're ending it in incredible style. Last 10 seconds again and it's been non-stop from these two men. And here they go once more, punch for punch. This time it's Pavey backing up right at the end of the round. So here we go, third and final round, and here they go once more. Look at this! Look at this from these two men. Incredible stuff. They know how close this is. They know how much effort they put in. Neither man wants to lose this. And boy, aren't they showing us, and here they go again. Fry now pushing forward, then Pavey comes back at him. And Fry pushing forward once more. 
Pavey looks to the referee, turns to his corner, then turns back again. So much already from these two men. And we've still got well over a minute left in this round. Oh, big right hand from Pavey and another. And now Fry responds and Pavey pushes with the left this time. Now Fry gets through with the left. And here they go once more. Whoever loses this will be heartbroken after so much effort. And again, they're going once more. Non-stop action. Both men eating punches, coming forward and throwing more. Non-stop and Pavey now pushing forward on sheer instinct alone. Rocking the head of Fry. And Fry responds, what an effort from these two men. This is incredible stuff. And for the first time they stop and who can blame them? And then Fry pushes forward once more and Pavey responds, what a bout, what an incredible way to end an evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I can honestly say we saved the best for last. What an incredible night that was. And these two young men have taken us to a split decision. But that decision is in favour of the blue.